is Sky Ellis, and I am obsessed with celebrity spottings. 25-year-old Vanessa Sky Ellis spends every day on the hunt for celebrities. Are you from One Direction? No. If I need no? To, no? And over the past seven years, she's managed to grab over 10,000 autographs and pictures with famous people. I, I'll go after whoever, whenever. That's Mario Cantone. Can I get an autograph, sir, please? Celebrity spotting is the most important thing to me. It's more important than having a boyfriend, than going to work, than doing anything. Can I get a quick photo with? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Vanessa works nights as a bartender, so she can spend her days running around the city, tracking down celebrities. Maybe I only sleep like two hours of sleep, because then in the morning I have to wake up and go right back out again and do celebrity spottings. But getting to actually meet someone famous isn't always as easy as it looks. I was wondering, is there any way I can get in? Um, um, not, not backstage. I really just want to get the photo with. It's a simple no. There's no stuff between the N and the O. Vanessa dedicates nearly eight hours a day to hunting down stars. Her apartment walls are plastered with just a small portion of the 10,000 photos she's taken over the years. This whole entire box is full of a whole bunch of photos of celebrities, and I have about 20, 30 different boxes. I have thousands of photos. I have thousands of autographs. They're just everywhere. And she doesn't favor one star over another. A photo with political figure Al Sharpton is just as treasured as a photo with Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie. A snapshot with Pat Sajak is just as good as meeting the Jersey Shore's Pauly D. To me, there's no such thing as a celebrity being an A-lister or a B-lister or a C-lister. They're all celebrities. Luke Perry, Green Day, Meatloaf, Alan Cumming, Zac Efron, Donny Osmond. Me getting another photo with somebody, that's me achieving. That makes me feel good. Jason Tam, Jason Tam, Jason Tam, Jason Tam. Vanessa follows over 200 celebrities through social media, and she always knows who's in New York at any given time. This map is where I go to get my celebrities. The Roots at 725, Kelly Rowland, that's at the London Hotel, Robin Vick, 3 or 4 p.m., that's at the Mandarin. When she's on the hunt, Vanessa always comes prepared. Disposable camera, it always works. Roll and click, and that's it. She'll do anything to make sure she never misses a photograph. And then my diapers, when I'm waiting for Jennifer Lopez, I'm going myself, OK? So I need some underwears. Uh-uh. Vanessa inherited her obsession with meeting celebrities from her mom. My mom, she had me out since the time I was like five, getting celebrities. She was always out. She used to be out from 4 o'clock in the morning, used to go home, and then she used to come right back out again at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. My mom passed away when I was 20, going to be 21. I still went out every single day got more celebrities and more celebrities, never stopped going out. She always lived her life to the fullest. So through her, I always want to make sure that I live my life to the fullest. She should be very proud. Vanessa depends on a variety of sources, such as hotel workers, security guards, and paparazzi to tell her where and when she can meet different stars. Call me back in a few minutes with this, or text me about whatever the hell you're talking about. But many of her contacts take professional risks by sharing confidential information and need to keep their identities hidden. I have a friend who's the head security guard of a hotel, and they always all feed me information all the time. You know anybody else there coming? Uh, One Direction's in the city. They're not yeah. staying at my hotel, but I, I know that they're over at the Trump, Trump. International. <laughs> 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 Vanessa is one of the most uh, successful celebrity spotters that I've ever seen. She's uh, extremely popular, and that's one of the reasons why I like to help her out. Vanessa has learned that two celebrities she's never met before will be in town on the same day. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie 
and two-time Olympic gold medal gymnast Gabby Douglas. Would he happen to know if Gabby Douglas would be coming in for this way? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Do you know about what time? Mm, Nine-ish. All right, thank you very much for your time. She should have been here already. She's running late. This is the regular celebrity life, and uh, people always run late. When I find a celebrity that I really want, try to be as nice as he possibly can. Oh, Gabby, I love your dress. Oh, Gabby, I love your coat. Oh, Gabby, oh, Gabby, oh, Gabby. I think that's Gabby. Yes, I'm not getting that. Gabby is driven directly into the loading dock, preventing Vanessa from getting her photo. Come on, that girls have dreams. They want to get Gabby Douglas. If you can't stop for your fans, you shouldn't be famous. Vanessa spent nearly four hours waiting to meet Gabby. She's planning to do whatever it takes to make sure she gets a picture with the next celebrity on her list. I'm about to get Chris Christie some flowers. You know, he's the governor of Jersey Shore, pretty much. If I have flowers, it'll definitely make me stand out. Oh! Can I get an autograph, sir, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Got it. You think if I could get a quick photo somehow, please? Thank you very much for your time. One, two, three, go. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye-bye. I got Chris Christie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Despite her success with the governor, one celebrity spotting a night is hardly enough. Vanessa regularly meets with paparazzi friends who may have information pertaining to the whereabouts of other stars in the city. Did you know about the premiere? Uh, there's a moment with Gerard Butler. That's uh, 68th Street and Broadway. Vanessa and I definitely swap information. In the city, she knows every celebrity. She's met every celebrity. So we work out. We're a pretty good team together. I want to see Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler? <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> After a full day of celebrity spotting, Vanessa heads uptown to add another famous face to her collection, movie star Gerard Butler. I want my Gerard Butler. Let me just do what I gotta do, get what I want, and let me go home. <laughs> She's been waiting for over two hours, but security at the premiere is tight, and Vanessa may be shut out. Gerard Butler's right there in the tent. Keep moving, moving. But why? Can you call Bobby over here? He's right there. Can you guys keep moving? He's right there. Your hype guys has to keep moving. Who knows, he might stop over there where all the rest of the fans are, so I think I might well go over there. Oh! <laughs> With. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you see? It was worth the night. It was worth the night. This is what I came here for tonight. I just met Gerard Butler. He's a very good guy. You can't get any better than this. I'll never be satisfied. I'll always go out and get more celebrities. If I became probably as big as Angelina Jolie, I'd probably still be in the parties asking for photos with celebrities. As long as you try to continue going, you'll get there hopefully one day just like they did. Yeah, I'm watching you.